Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome my guy. Now, got that out the way. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit the like. Make sure to hit the notification bell. Make sure of all things to share and tell a friend. I mean, I would appreciate that a great deal. Uh, I come to you today just basically briefly talk to you about um, um, something that was pressing on my mind. Um, and that's dealing with discipline. And um, I want to pose the question, is it the kids or the parents? Now, <clears throat> when it comes to discipline, of course, kids don't discipline their parents, but you never know, because I've run into some situations. But with the emergence of uh, what I've talked about in the past, where um, a 16 year old hired her mother, uh, hired her, uh, I'm sorry, her um, boyfriend to kill her mother, and then uh, with the recent uh, incident that um, I had heard about through someone told me about a 10 year old who killed his mother because she did not get him a, um, a virtual reality headset. Um, um, and also what's going on with Master P and and um, his son. But more specific, specifically, the kid who killed his mother, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if y'all know, but just briefly, he, he wanted to, um, one of these virtual reality set headsets, she didn't get it. He ended up was, uh, playing with a gun at some point and killed, shot his mother in the face. And uh, used her, uh, excuse me, her card and charge to get the vi video headset. Now, I'm not here to go into any of the uh, details as to what transpired. Excuse me. Because you can read that yourself. But my thing is this, man. Is it? I mean, what's what's going on? It, I know it's not the kids. I mean, the parents. But it has to be a great deal of of a situation between both. Because parents, as parents, we try to do the best that we can. We try to do everything that we uh, know how in order to make uh, things work for our kids and uh, some of them do not seem to respect or understand the, the, the situations that we had to endure in order for them to be where they are. Case in point, the situation with Master P and his son. Um, I've been following Master P for a long time. I've, I've, I've followed what he has done for his kids and it just, you know, you know kind of, you know, uh, broke my heart when I heard about his uh, daughter dying. Uh, di well, she had an overdose and ended up dying. And uh, because of the fact that uh, Master P didn't pr parade his his, his um, feelings in the inter on the internet, it sort of uh, rubbed Romeo the wrong way, and he got at Master P, and da da da. Y'all know the situation. I'm not gonna go into that. But the thing of it is, Master P had uh, rebuttaled and told uh, Romeo, you know. Hey, I've been trying to get in touch with you. Don't you don't answer your phone, and and from the sound of his voice, it he 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 sounded hurt in the sense that he would um master uh, Romeo would do what he did in terms of blasting him on the uh, internet, you know, because Master P has done a lot for his kids. You know, he's put them in movies. He's, you know, you know the situation what he's done, and tried to set them for at any point whenever you know something happens to him that they'll be able to carry it on. Now. Was he wrong for that? Was he wrong for for being a, a great parent and providing, you know, you know, you know and, and and what have you? Because some kids seem to think, well, well my, my dad did this for me, but he wasn't here at this a, you know, at this point, you know, what I'm saying, which to me doesn't make sense. I mean, as a parent, me being a blind parent, um, I definitely, you know, understand the hardship. So, uh, with my kids, I try to work harder and try to provide as much as I basically basically could in order. For them to understand, I have an eight-year-old who does understand that you know it is still right to to say yes, ma'am, no, no, ma'am, things of that nature. We provide him with gifts or, or rewards because he does well. He is you know is very manageable as well as the other kids and stuff like that. So with that situation, we we try to um, teach him how to be respectful, and, and he's he's learning that. 
But with these kids who uh, get mad at their parents because they don't provide or they don't buy them what they're supposed to or get them what they're supposed to and kill them, I just never would ever understand that. So I, in, 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 in that in that aspect, you know, I can't say uh, it's the kids' fault for doing what they did. They have the right to do so. No, they never have the right to even to even uh, uh, talk to their parents in any way, shape, or form. I'm from the old school. I was uh, uh, raised by my mom and dad. They did a great job, and I, and, and I do understand that some kids may fall through the waste waste uh, uh, or fall by the wayside and may uh, encounter certain situations, which has happened with my family. But the thing of it is, it, it is no excuse for them to go out and uh, kill them, their parents and talk to them in any way, shape, or form and to belittle them because, case in point, no matter how old you get, and I hear my mama has always said, and hearing her saying this, that no matter how you never too grown uh, 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 for me in that as you know, that way. That's how she says it. But anyway, you're never too grown. I'm still your mama, and that's how you know. You know, she she uh, explained it to me. But um, when it comes to if it's the kids' fault or the parents' fault, we just need, need just just to, to just get rid of the, the the fact that if it's the kids' fault altogether, and not blame the parents. You know, we look at the fact we can look at the fact that is it the parents' fault for giving them too much, or if it's the parents' fault for giving them not enough. So you just you, you can't um, it's you just have to draw that line in terms of you know how much is too much how much is not enough and what have you and just do what you need because there's a lot of parents out there who can't provide because they constantly have to work and they you know they can't be there emotionally for their kids and that's where a lot of the kids tend to either get lost or, try, or sort of use that as a crush to go out and do what they do. But it, it gives them, it still does not give them the right to to retaliate in the way that they do uh, with their parents and just actually kill them in cold blood. And I, I mean, I I, I I failed to mention that the, the kid, ten year old kid, did have some something wrong with him um, mentally, sort of. But you know, those are things that you try to kind of nip in, in the bud if you can, and not you know, or just take heed, or just you know. Uh, um, listen to to you know what what is going on within that child but i for one would never ever blame the parents for the kids doing what they doing because I, i've i've been in a situation around a lot of parents who do a great deal for their kids and still sometimes they turn out to be individuals who just want to be how they want to be and it could be inf uh, influence from other kids who are not getting the love and just want to hang out in the streets and do that and and and, and put it in the, the the child's head and feel that that's the right thing to do but when you got mothers and fathers who actually are doing what they need to do as a parent as parents and and and, and try to set their kids up so that they don't have to go through the situations i applaud them heavily you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if it's in, in, in answering my question, and I hope that you do leave your comments, if, is it the kids' fault or is it the parents? Um, no one is getting the blame, but I know that there are parents who are doing what they are, you know, they are uh, uh, expected to do and they're supposed to do in order to to um, uh, uh, make the lives of the kids much easier so they, they won't have to go through the things that they have. So, as far as trying to say what well, if it's the kids' fault for doing what they're doing or blaming the kids, it's never it's never that because kids do not the kids do not get a pass with me ever ever in a day because I'm not the most biblical person but uh, I was always told honor thy mother and father and your days will be longer. I believe that.